All right, well, this is my video about fitness and health, and um, sorry if there's a bit of lag. Uh, so I wanted to talk about just like what I've been experiencing and things and just kind of update and just sharing basically. What else am I going to do? Um, so basically when I hit about 20 or 21, basically now, I got a sudden interest in fitness and health. And I just really was interested um, in getting stronger and healthier just recently. And I think to myself, well, why is it that like all through teenage years I really had zero interest in it and now all of a sudden I like I'm obsessed with it and I was thinking to myself huh you know and I was thinking about okay what's different then and now and I think to myself oh I actually have time to do things now you know I, yeah I'm, I'm kind of bitter but <laughs> um, when I had school you know I'd spend up stay up all night I get terrible sleep I didn't have any time to myself besides, you know, procrastination and just I didn't have time to spend energy on exercise and I just was not willing to try something new where I'd have to actually exert myself because I was thinking, I barely have enough energy to finish homework every day, why am I going to start doing that? So now that I actually, I'm done with my two year, first two years of college, my AA degree, I finished and I'm really happy about that. So now I'm in a lull where I'm in an in between where I decide what to do next. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this time and take advantage of it, and I'm gonna like totally just like find my passions and work on making myself an even better me, and work on my anxiety and work on things that make me happy and just basically forging them in my life better. So health has been a major thing for me lately. And um, so what I've been doing lately is I've just got into exercise a few weeks ago, like more regularly. And I've been walking every day and um, I haven't gotten into jogging yet because I'm kind of a wussy in that way. Because I just, I'm so out of shape that if I jog at all, like even for a minute, I start turning red and sweating and it's just really embarrassing. And, you know, people, other people with social anxiety would know how hard that is to deal with. Like, it's hard enough normally, but when you have anxiety, it's like, you know, it's it's really, like, embarrassing. So I just, it's really hard for me to convince myself to ever try that. But I was thinking, well, you know, if I get stronger, like, from this walking and from exercising every day, I think I'll work up to it, and then it'll be a little less embarrassing. But, um, so, like, I go and walk um, around, uh, around each day, and I walk, um about like how long four miles a day and so that's pretty good I mean it's not half bad I, I don't count walking that I just do normally because I walk around because I don't have a car and I ride the bus and so I walk around normally but um, I don't count it unless it's for exercise like you know because I think it's cheating to say oh you know I walked this amount of miles but it's just what you do normally so it's not actually really extra exercise so I just count when I walk around like my goal which is like four miles from my apartment to around and then back where I walk. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Like, and also I've been doing stair climbing. Like, um, I go up a big staircase 10 times, like 10 times up and then not counting the down. And, um, I was, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to be really weak and it's, it takes, it's a, it takes a lot of effort, even though I'm not running up them. So it's kind of like, damn. <laughs> so my thighs like hurt and I'm like, ah, oh. But, you know, you have to start somewhere, so it's, you have to, I think to myself, well, whatever, you know, it, it doesn't matter if I'm the weakest person, there's always someone who's worse off than me. Like, there are people who are, like, 300 pounds and, like, really overweight who are trying to exercise, and it's, like, good for them, you know. It's, I don't think about how out of shape they are when I see them. I just think, wow, it's, you know, it's inspiring that they bother to try. And so, you know, I try and think to myself, no, it doesn't matter that you know, I'm really out of shape, and even though that's really embarrassing, it's just like, I shouldn't care about that. And I try to remember that, so it, that's, it's always hard to get over those kind of things. Dealing with, like, the feeling of people. But, you know, that's something that I'm always battling lately. So, and I'm sure other people do too. So, I mean, I, I'm happy because I, I'm basically meeting my goal of doing it at least every other day. And, like, today I had to miss it because everything kind of went wrong today, so I didn't have a chance to. But, so I've been doing that, like, four miles or whatever, and, um, so I haven't, it hasn't been that long. It's only been, like, two weeks, so 
I really don't have a chance to see how it's changing my life, if at all. But I'm sure the longer I do it, the more I'll see a difference in at least how I feel. And on top of that, I'm trying, I've am trying. i always been trying to eat better. Like, since about a year ago, I've been eating better and better. Like, um, I'm replacing as much as I can with whole wheat. Like, I don't eat normal pasta anymore. I eat whole wheat pasta. And I don't eat high fructose corn syrup anymore. And just basically fake crap. I don't want to eat any fake crap anymore. And I try and avoid anything that's boxed most of the time. And, you know, just, it's really difficult because I'm really picky. And I'm lazy too, so... It's like really hard to get myself to actually eat well because <laughs> I, I can't cook for crap so it's like I have to challenge, it's challenging. But um, I actually am embarking on a new challenge for myself which I would call um, simply it's being sugar free which sounds pretty hard which it is and I'm starting tomorrow. So um, I'll link to where I got it, um, stumptuous.com which is a great website for women who are into fitness, or men even. I mean, it's just basically from a woman's perspective, and she's the one who writes the blog, and it's really it's really fun and inspiring to read. And she basically gave, wrote a full-on guide of how to dump sugar from your life. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm completely addicted to sugar. I mean, I'm eating cookies right now, so I mean, <laughs> so it's like um, the reason I'm eating cookies now is because I'm saying goodbye, basically. I'm like not going to be eating anything with sugar in it anymore, except natural sugar, you know, like the sugar and fruit. Basically, no added sugar, no no honey, no maple syrup, no no sugar, no fructose, whatever the hell. <laughs> so I'm just not eating any sugar anymore, and I'm going to do it for at least a month and see if I survive and see how I feel, see if I feel any better. Because um, apparently I've always been fatigued for my whole life. I've always been tired all the time. So I think to myself, well, you know, it could be the sugar partially. So it'll be interesting, really interesting to see if I get more energy. Because, you know, supposedly, like, it's kind of uh, sugar and so on gives you short bursts of energy and then you crash. And I'm, I eat sugar all the time, so it's like, yeah. And it's in everything. I mean, it's in pasta, even whole wheat pasta. I'm like, crap, you know, how am I going to avoid this? <laughs> so, I mean, sugar is in milk, but it's a natural, you know, it's in the milk. It's not added, so I can have that. So, I mean, it sounds like a ridiculous diet, and I understand if people are kind of like, why would you do that? But I'm just, like, kind of sick of um, feeling tired all the time, and I just really wanted to try this to see if it works. Because I'm really, I really hate the concept of dieting, and I really look down on people who diet because I think dieting is shit. You know, it's a lie and um, it's it's disgusting that people try and get thin like to an extent that's not healthy. So I really dislike those kind of things. I think it's important to make lifestyle changes that are permanent, not just things to lose weight. Oh, well, I want to be skinnier, you know. It's like shit. It's like, no. <laughs> I just think that's wrong. And because um, you, should, you should always work to improve your health, but I think it's ridiculous to try and do it just to improve your looks because it's like come on I mean if you're like ugh, morbidly obese I understand like wanting to look better but these people who are like barely chubby and trying to like look skinny and not thinking of their health just thinking of their looks and just doing these stupid fad diets and just like you know and gluten free crap that's going on and like for people who aren't allergic to gluten it just pisses me off and I mean there are theories that grains are bad because you know they're a newer thing to eat and grains you know our stomachs don't process them that well or something like I, I don't really know what to make of that this it might be true but um, the gluten part I'm not sure what the heck's up with that I mean it may coincidentally be better for you in some ways if you're a hardcore like um, into cutting out anything that's oh the paleo diet where basically you're eating like um, way before, like way in the past kind of style eating. I mean, paleo diet people, I believe, don't eat grains. So, I mean, maybe some people claim that it's better, but the gluten fad has been just kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So, I mean, if it, so I don't really know what to say about that. Because, I mean, it's possible that cutting grains might make your stomach hurt less or something, but gluten itself is not the enemy as far as I know. So, it's like, okay, you know, everything's gluten-free now, and why is this suddenly a good thing? Unless you're allergic to gluten, it's like, okay, you know, trying to lose weight in a stupid way as usual. So it's like, God. <laughs> so, yeah, um, 
Hmm, what else do I have to say about that? <laughs> so I'm going off sugar, and um, so I'll be eating a lot of fruit and vegetables and things that, and meat and things just that don't have sauces, and I won't be having teriyaki sauce anymore. I won't be having jelly, and it's just going to be really hard. So I'm kind of excited because it's going to be a challenge. So I'm going to really have to challenge myself and challenge my way of thinking and eating. <laughs> so I'm hoping for the best. Because um, my personal goal is, my goal is to um, to weigh more. Not weigh much more, but weigh a bit more. And be basically maintain my weight. And like I'm five, eight and a half, and I weigh, I think uh, it's one, 150. Yeah, 150 something, maybe, I think, I don't know. <laughs> something like that. But, um, you know, I used to weigh 125, and that was bad, and it wasn't on purpose, it was just like kind of just happened, and because I don't eat well, I didn't eat enough or something, and just I look like hell, and the problem is you don't notice. You don't notice how you look from an inside perspective. From first person, you really can't tell if you're really skinny. And um, so when I see pictures of myself, I'm like, oh my god, you know, look, my arms are like skinnier than now. How awful, you know, I just look like it looked awful and I just am like really surprised and you know you don't know until you think about it and you really look and research so I had researched like what my weight should be and I was like oh crap you know I'm I'm really low on the low end of it I'm like oh no you know so I worked to eat more and um, gain some weight and I was like good I'm gaining weight you know and so I, I basically gained like 20 pounds and so I'm excited about that so and that was a while ago a few years ago so I, I feel good about that because I didn't really realize that I was really skinny until, like, um, I noticed another lady who was really skinny, like, you know, almost, you would think she might have an eating disorder maybe, and she, like, very skinny. And it was funny because there was kind of like a loud mouth in my class who said to me, for some reason, just had mentioned, um, oh, you know, you're really skinny, you know, like, you're, why, why are you so skinny or something? And he's like, you're, you're skinny. I mean, that other lady's skinnier than you, but you're skinny. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I'm like, really? And I was thinking, huh, I never noticed before. And so, you know, you don't notice these things from first person. So that's why it's kind of dangerous is because people will start basically thinking things about how what they wear, just not even noticing when they're on an unhealthy weight. Like fat people, fatter people will notice like when they're overweight very easily because of the media and stuff. But people who are too skinny mostly don't notice, and and it's very unhealthy sometimes. So, I mean, it's, it's extremely important to be a healthy weight. And like what my goal is is like I'm currently what you'd call skinny fat, which is like you know I'm unhealthy, but but sort of thin. I'm not overweight, I'm not underweight, I'm just skinny fat, so to speak, which means I have a high body fat percentage. Basically, I, I don't weigh very much, but um, most of my body is fat, so it's because I don't exercise, I don't move a lot, so I'm just kind of in an unhealthy mode right now. But, I mean, basically my ultimate goal is to weigh about as much as I do now, but replace some of that with muscle, and basically have more of my weight be muscle. So that would be exciting if I could do that. But, um... Yeah, so I mean, uh, so I don't encourage fad diets. I think they're the stupidest thing on earth. I think people who try and lose weight in unhealthy ways need help, and I just hope that no one, none of you guys do that because it's it's really depressing and awful, and you shouldn't buy into that shit where it's like, oh, you know, I'll do anything to myself to look good. It's like God. Just like I just don't get it, and I think you should be. It's more important to be good feeling, feel happy and healthy, than it is to be more attractive. Obviously, so I mean, if you want to lose weight, if you're overweight, you should be doing it. You shouldn't be cheating. You should be doing it in the right way. You should actually be like um, doing it in a healthy way, called like eating less crap, eating less processed food, eating actual vegetables and fruits. And eating enough, not not cutting your calories too low, that's extremely important. No cutting shitloads of calories. Actually eating a lot that you need to eat, just eating the right things and eating proper portions of vegetables and, you know, just eating a good balance of things instead of cutting everything out And because that's an inappropriate way to do it. So I just mean people really need to just be eating healthier if they want to lose weight. And... 
I mean, if if you do that, you'll lose weight naturally, and it'll take a lot longer, but at least you won't be hurting yourself, and you won't be hurting your body. Like, exercising and just eating healthy foods and eating a good amount of food, not too little, is like the biggest, most important thing ever, and I just shake my head at those people who are like, oh, I'm gonna like do detox, and I'm gonna do South Beach diet, and I'm gonna portion this and portion that, and I'm gonna eat a fourth of the calories I need, and I'm like, God, stop, you know, you don't feed into that crap, and please, you know, women need to, especially women need to know that, stop doing that, I mean, that's awful, you, your life is more important than that, and feeling good, as I said, just, I'm repeating myself, but, you know, <laughs> so I just mean, yeah, it really, it really bothers me when people do diets, and I see people doing it, and I'm just like, that's, it's depressing to me, so, I mean, just, People, stop cheating, stop, those, those, oh, I lost 300 pounds in a year, like, it's cheating, and you shouldn't be cheating, because you're, you're not, you may, um, meet your goal, but you're not doing any good for your body, you'll probably gain it all back, and just, it's, it's ridiculous, so, that's what I have to say. <laughs>